We don't know who has this virus. We just make the assumption that we're possibly getting more exposure than we already have. We want to do this because this is our lives. We care. We want to save people. But we can't do that because of the lack of proper protective equipment. My sister's a frontline doctor. My father and father-in-law are both frontline doctors. And we saw the absurd need for PPE that was being unfulfilled. Obviously, it's very busy, and there's lots of people that are sick, so we're trying to help out the medical professionals in any way that we can, using some of our resources to build these devices. We started uh, you know, designing something that we thought we could make maybe 100 of a day. Uh, then as we realized the demand was a lot higher, we had to uh, change gears and figure out how can we make thousands of these a day. It's looking at how we can repurpose the machinery we have and the knowledge we have to be able to create the PPE materials that are needed in the marketplace. The, the real specialty of this is, again, engineering what we have here into a solution that we've never made before and being able to do that within days and hours because we know every hour that we're not sending more PPE gear out. It's people who are unprotected on the front lines being exposed to this virus. Now we're making uh, 1,200 to 2,000 a day. A large portion of these are donations that we're just sending to local hospitals, local uh, doctor's offices, nurses, nursing homes. Our mission has always been a United Safety to Save Lives. This is an extension of our mission that fits what we're doing today, and we're very proud to be able to do our part to help people who need it.